A DVT external builder allows you to invoke any script or command and back annotate the source code with the errors or warnings it produces. To create a new external builder, right click on the project, go to Properties, DVT, External Builders, and click New. Alternatively, from the External Builder drop down button in the toolbar, select Configure, then New. You can choose to start from scratch using a generic builder type or from a pre configured template. On the main tab, specify the commands to be executed at full build, incremental build, and during project clean. Leave the box empty if no action should be taken during a specific phase. You can use variables when filling the text boxes, for example, dollar project name. Press the variables button for a searchable list. On the Filters tab, you define the set of tool or methodology specific filters which are matched against the standard output of the executed command. This way, errors and warnings are identified and back annotated to the source code as problem markers. When rebuilding a project using the Toolbar button, a full internal build gets executed first, then the full build command of each external builder in order. The other two rebuild buttons allow you to run only the internal DVT builder or only the external builders. Similarly, when saving a file, the internal incremental build is done and then the external build incremental command is executed. The output of external builder commands is shown in the console view. Errors and warnings matched by the filters are colored and contain hyperlinks which allow you to easily jump to the source code where they originated. Conversely, to jump from the editor to the console to get more context about the error warning, you can right click on a problem marker and annotate it on the left side of the editor. All the markers are also available in the problems view. Note that the problem message is prefixed with the name of the builder which triggered it.